Did you know that there is a way to get an even lower interest rate by buying points when you're either purchasing or refinancing your home loan? The problem is many people aren't aware of this or they're just completely unsure about how the process works. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about points and everything that you need to know and understand how it works for you. And if this is the first time you're checking out my channel, my name is Sean Oihara. I'm with Loan Depot, helping you finance your homes all across America, whether you're looking at purchasing, refinancing, buying an investment property, a vacation home, or even your first property, I've got you covered. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the description so you can check out more links to help you get your mortgage right. The scenario that we're gonna use to break down how points work is gonna be as follows. It's a $400,000 sales price. We're gonna assume that this particular client is gonna put 20% down. They have a 750 credit score, and this is gonna be their primary residence. So here's how the numbers will break down. When you typically purchase a home, the lender will most likely quote you what's called a par interest rate. And a par interest rate basically means that you're not paying anything more for the rate to get a lower interest rate. And this is where the whole points terms come into play. So today, it would, as we price out this specific scenario, the par rate is gonna be three and a half percent. Now, when we look at our loan amount of $320,000, the principal and interest payment is gonna be $1,437. Now, this gives us a baseline as to determine should we pay points or should we not pay points. Now, the second scenario is gonna be, do we pay one point to buy our interest rate down? Now, a general rule of thumb is for every point or percent that you pay towards buying your rate down, it should lower your interest rate about a quarter percent. So in our scenario, again, we're gonna go and pay a point and look at the option with our lender. Now, instead of a three and a half percent interest rate, we are now at three and a quarter. So again, you can see the 1% is now saved us an extra quarter percent on our interest rate. Now, the thing to take into account is the whole point is basically a percent and how to calculate the fee is based on the loan amount. So 1% times $320,000 gives us $3,200. So in this scenario, it's going to cost us an extra $3,200 in closing costs to save us a quarter percent on the interest rate. Now, the same scenario with a $320,000 loan amount will give us a principal and interest payment of $1,393. So you can see that we're saving us $44 a month by paying the extra point or $3,200 to bring our payment down 44 bucks a month. And the next option that we're looking at is actually if you were to pay two points or 2% towards the loan amount and buy your interest rate down even further. So again, same scenario, $320,000 loan amount. And if we're gonna pay two points, you're looking at $6,400 to bring your interest rate down to 3.125%. So not a huge drop there, but you could see two points, 6,400 bucks, that's quite a bit of closing costs that you're adding to get your interest rate down to 3.125. And that principal and interest payment is $1,371 or a $22 savings from our initial one point buy down with our interest rate being at 3.125%. Now the one factor that you wanna calculate to figure out is it worth paying the points is your break even. Now that's easily calculated. All you're gonna do is take the cost of what it takes to buy the rate down. So in our first example, we're gonna look at the $3,200 or the one point and you're gonna divide that by the monthly savings of $44 a month. And when you do that, your break even is gonna be about 72 months out. So if you are planning on selling or refinancing your home within this 72 month or six year period, you wouldn't wanna pay the point because you're not gonna recoup your costs. Now, however, if you plan on staying in the home past that 73 month period and you're not gonna to touch your mortgage, you might wanna consider paying the point, getting the lower interest rate, so that you could recoup the savings in the long run. And now option number two. Now in this scenario, we're paying two points or $6,400. That would then save you about 66 bucks a month from the original par 
interest rate of three and a half percent. And when we do the simple math again, $6,400, which is the cost of the two points to buy the rate down, divide that by the monthly savings, which is $66 a month, your break even is gonna be 96 months or eight years. So again, if you plan on selling, refinancing, doing anything with your mortgage within that time frame, you wouldn't wanna pay the buy down because you're never gonna get your money back. Now, if you plan on staying in the home past the eight years and you're never gonna to touch your loan, you might wanna consider buying the points and taking the lower interest rate. Now that you understand how points work, you can have that conversation with your loan officer. And again, I always stress this on our videos, you wanna look at options. Your loan officer should be able to give you at least two to three options when you're looking at getting pre-approved for your purchase or your refinance. And again, this is how the points work and it's pretty straightforward. So you're either gonna look at maybe a point, two points or somewhere in between, but you wanna make sure you know how to calculate your break-even point so you can decide for yourself, do I pay the points or do I pass and take the rate at the par level? That was a quick rundown to show you how points work. Don't forget, you can check out this playlist to watch more videos to help you get your mortgage right. My name is Sean Uihara. I'll see you on the next one.